Hello and welcome back to another set of readings of Lotus Love Tarot 555. Okay, you guys, I am here with your full moon readings. Okay, so towards the end of this uh, video, you will be able to get some information on what to expect with this Aquarius full moon. But right now, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support you continue to give our channel. Okay, you can apply this reading today and this is a very mini reading, you guys. You understand? Very many reading. The only reason we do these readings is to give you an idea of where to set your intentions. So if you don't know how to set your intentions, look below. Okay, there's a link right there and it'll explain everything, all the steps in setting your intention for this full moon energy. Okay, so you can apply this to your sun, your moon, your rising, and for some, even your Venus sign once again. Um, so it's so important to use this energy, this information that's going to be coming forth today in these decks because spirit is kind of getting you to hone in on those energies and those situations that you kind of need to deal with. All right, so make sure you do that. Um, it's so important to use that energy so once again if you're on instagram okay please follow us at lotus love tarot 555 don't forget we have the lotus love show every monday through thursday 9 p.m eastern standard time so meet us right back here uh, if you have not already check out your twin flame soulmate readings for august we have completed those and there are extendeds that go along with that if you're a member of our Patreon, you get to see all of the extendants for one low price. If you're not interested in the Patreon membership, then there is an extended link that's below each one of those readings as well. Okay? I think that's all I need to tell you guys. So remember, once again, this is a mini reading. And if you want information about this Aquarius full moon, just let your reading play a little further and we'll have that towards the end of the reading the mini reading okay all right my loves now on to your reading hello my capricorns okay you guys let's get right into your reading this will be your reading for the full moon on august 3rd 2020 all right holy spirit divine creator the universe what messages need to go forth for the sign of capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. And I see a card flipped over here. That was from last reading. <laughs> what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? I just, oh, wow. Oh, goodness, Capricorn. Okay. We are starting off with a bang. Okay, Holy Spirit, divine sir. Divine Creator, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know? Okay, one stuck in my fingers. That was interesting. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Prayer, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn as they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. What messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? Okay. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Prayer, the universe, what messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn? As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd, 2020. Wow, look at that. That one knew exactly where to go. <laughs> knew exactly where to go. Okay, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the universe, the messages need to go forth for the sign of Capricorn. As they begin to set their intentions on the full moon occurring on August 3rd. Third, 2020. What messages? Look at there. Capricorn. It's like your messages like just came specifically out. Knew exactly what they were wanting to do. And what they were trying to display to you. You deserve love. You are lovable. Okay, so anytime this card comes out, this is spirit reminding you. That no matter what situation you're going through, that you are loved. You are loved. Y'all give me one second. 
I forgot my paper. I need my paper. <laughs> so I can uh, write down what this title is going to be. So that spirit again reminding you that uh, you deserve love and you are lovable. Same time that card comes out. It's a situation where you're not feeling love right now. Okay. Next card, passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So you're very passionate about a situation. Could be very passionate about someone. But maybe you're not feeling that love from that relationship. Treasure chest. Wow, I can't believe this. I saw this when I was shuffling. And I said, that would be funny if this card came out. And it actually came out. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. Now, that is remarkable. So it's like you got two separate situations going on here. It's like you have a situation of dealing with love where you're not really feeling that love back. Not really feeling like someone loves you. But on the other side of this, you got uh, money or a situation of abundance or job or something, career or something that's really positioning you very well. Romance angels are helping you. Okay, so the romance angels are helping you get past the situation where you're needing to be um, affirmed that you are loved. Very interesting. Pregnancy. Uh-oh. The birth of a child brings great blessings to you and the world. Could somebody be pregnant? Of course. Or you are very fertile. Or you will find out that you're pregnant. All right. So this may not be for everybody. It could be one or two people that's just coming that this is coming in for. Somebody may have just found out that they're pregnant. Wow. Very interesting reading. Pregnancy in the near future. All right. Well, somebody's going to be pregnant within the next couple of months. But still, with this, you deserve love. I'm still back to where I am. Somebody is feeling like. Somebody's not loving them as much as they are loving the other person. And from this relationship or pregnancy will occur in the next couple of months or in the near future. You could have found that you were pregnant. Somebody's even considering not knowing if this person loves them enough and considering an abortion. So be careful. Be careful with these situations. Okay? All right, my Capricorns, if you want to do a private reading, information pertaining to that can be found below. Until next time, bye-bye. Okay, my loves, just a little information about this Aquarius full moon that's going to be coming through today on August 3rd. Um, first of all, understand that Aquarius is the sign of visionary, okay, of visions and being a visionary. It is a fixed sign and it is an air sign, okay? Um, it kind of focuses on freedom, um, revolution, um, change. Um, Aquarius energy, it also focuses on the collective, Okay, um, roles within friendships, uh, social groups, and our communities at large. So whatever community that you're in, whatever friendships that you're in, whatever whatever social groups that you're in, this full moon is going to kind of put an emphasis on that. Okay, um, this full moon is going to encourage us to better balance our hearts. Um, with our minds and release anything that's no longer serving serving our highest good, okay? It's going to make us release things that are not serving us. And full moon energy, what it kind of, it, it, what it does, is it, it kind of illuminates those energies, okay? It kind of illuminates those situations in our mind. And it begins to help us unravel and understand some of the parts of ourselves you know, that fit into this kind of framework. It kind of gives us more clarity um, than before. And that's what happens with that full moon energy. We begin to see things a little bit more clear, um, get have a little bit more intense, intense understanding. And so as you're going through this full moon energy, make sure you're la allowing the full moon energy to work for you and not against you. Because once again, 
it can be a very intense energy but it's so important that we begin to hone in on those specific areas that i talked about because again with this with it being in the sign of aquarius aquarius is a sign that kind of focuses more so on the collective more so on the community more so on friendships okay and so that's where your focus is going to kind of be for um this full moon energy all right my loves if you want to do a personal reading Information pertaining to that can be found. Be Until nice. next time, bye-bye.